All right, so we're still on our home page. We've got a title and a whole bunch of head tag information built. And we have created this blank table that's eight rows. Let's start filling this sucker with information. The first thing we're going to want to add is going to be a big old banner that's going to be nice and centered right here in this very first row. Your banner is actually in your resources folder right now. And when you look at it, you're going to notice, well, wait a second, it's still a Photoshop file. How am I supposed to use a Photoshop file when I need a picture? Well, I just want to show you some of the cool things that Dreamweaver has to offer. So make sure you are clicked in this first row. And before, if you want to add a picture, you'd have to type out that big image tag, IMG space SRC equals. You have to go find your path by opening up your picture on the internet. You have to copy and paste it. You have to worry if you mess something up. Well, those days are gone. If you want a picture, you grab the file, JJ Banner, and you drop it in the row that you want it to exist. Awesome. Love it. Totally life-changing. Now, it's going to bring up this little screen because obviously it was a Photoshop file and now it needs to be a picture. So you can just leave all this alone. If you want to drag quality up to 100, you know, that always is nice. And you can hit OK. Now, photo, or Photoshop, Dreamweaver is giving you the option to now save this JPEG picture, which is what we needed. And you're going to need to drop it right here into your images folder because this is an image. It is not a resource now, this is a picture that you're going to use on all of your pages. So save that bad boy in there. And I already have one in there from earlier, so I'm just going to replace mine. You won't have to do that though. And you are ready to rock and roll. Now one thing that you can't see that's happening to this picture is this is actually still aligned to the left. So we need to grab this picture and tell it to be centered so then later on when we're in the internet it doesn't get all skewed and look awkward sitting on the left hand side. So if it's not already just click dead center on your picture. You'll know it's selected because just like in Moxie you're going to look down here at the bottom at your properties panel and you're going to see that you have that picture. There's your little ID shortcut picture little preview guy right there. So with that selected it's going to be just like when we were centering the table, just come up to Format, Align, Center. Is it going to look like it moved? No, but later on it's going to be very helpful that we did that. So we're going to skip this row right here and we're going to move on to the third row. In the third row, you are going to type your text that's going to be later on an internal link. So we're going to have home. I like to do a little space dash space. We're going to have a discover button. We're going to have an explore button. Eat, about, and contact. So go ahead, pause the video, and type these into the third row. After you got them typed, you can highlight all of them. It is just like Word, Modify, Align, Center. Again, Modify, Align, Center. You are centering those internal links. We'll come back and link those up after we get our pages made. Okay, moving on to the fourth row, working our way down. We have some fun little decorative dino feet over here in our images folder. We are going to bring those in and we're going to change the size of them. And then we're going to copy and paste it and we're going to have a whole bunch of them. So you're looking for dino feet in your images folder. And you're going to drag and drop one of those over here into the fourth row. Now they're going to be really big, but don't worry. We're going to tame them down. Don't you love that you can just drag and drop pictures now? It's so much easier. 
So make sure your dyno feet are selected. Again, you're gonna know they're selected because your properties panel is gonna show them down here at the bottom left-hand side. That's a great preview. Before those banners were so long and skinny, it was hard to see, but those dyno feet, I mean, you know that's a dyno foot. You, there's no questioning that. Now we're gonna slide our attention over here to the right-hand side of the screen this time. And you're gonna see a width and a height. This thing's really big. We want it to be really small. It's just like a tiny little decorative detail. Now what's cool is we can change the size of this, but as long as this little lock here stays locked, whenever I adjust one, it's gonna adjust the other, so they're gonna stay nice and proportionate. So let's change the width to 50, and then the PX stands for pixels. Hit enter, and you're gonna see that it changed the height for you. So much easier than having to do it by hand. But then you're gonna be like, whoa, wait a second. This row is enormous now. What in the world happened? It totally ruined my table. No, it didn't. I want you to think of your table like spandex. And it doesn't matter how fat or skinny you are, spandex always seems to fit. And then when you take it off, it shrinks back down. Well, your table's getting ready to do the same thing. If you just click anywhere outside of your table, or even in a different row, it's gonna suck right back up to a more manageable size. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this image again of the dino feet, and I would like for you to align it to the center. Next thing, we're gonna have a whole bunch of dino feet. Now, your screen might be different than your partner's, so we're all gonna kind of possibly have different amounts of dino feet. And by having it centered, you're gonna know when you have too many. So with it selected, if you go to copy, and then click away from it in that row, and paste it, you should get a second one. If you're a shortcut person, it's Command C or Command V on a Mac. So Command C copies, Command V pastes. Command C, Command V. Then you just keep hitting Command V until you've got little dino feet marching all the way across your page. Now when you add that last one and it shoots down because it's too far, delete it. We're going to leave it with just one row of dino feet. When you got that done, I want you to come down here to the second to last row, and you can either shift click and grab all of these. I did that by clicking on the first one. And I'm not holding down on my mouse, but I hold down on shift and I click the last one, and it'll highlight all of them and you can copy and paste it into that second to last row. Or if that's too difficult, then you can just repeat the same process of bringing one over, changing the size, and then copying and pasting it until it reaches all the way across your page.